Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bull Prospecting. And if uh, you watched uh, my last video, the one before last, of how to get gold, um, the new way to get gold out of BGA chips, and I only did 25 of them, and I got a, a decent amount of gold. Uh, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to actually process this entire bag here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel all the, the tops off, all these guys, and I'm only processing BGAs. Now you'll see some of these, and how you can tell they're BGAs is you flip them over. And what you're looking for is a square grid on the back. You don't want to see two lines because that, that would be an IC chip. You want to see a square pattern on the back of the chip. If you see just two lines, so say if you flip the chip over and you only see a, a like an array of balls going here and here, that's going to be considered an IC chip and your gold recovery is not going to be as intense as it would be if it was an actual uh, ball grid array chip. So you just look on the back, see how this one doesn't have any uh, backing to it. It's just ready to go. So what, with this process, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all these off and then I'm going to run them um, through some hydrochloric to get rid of any base metals. So what I got to do is pop all these tops off and then weigh it up and then uh, see what we got. So let's get busy. Let's see what we can do. Okay, guys. So now we got to separate the backs from these chips. And now all we're going to do here is we're going to... Go ahead, and we're going to take the backs off these chips right here. Let me just try to get a good shot of this so you can see what we got going on here. So this is our chip here. Sorry, it's uh, having a hard time focusing. There we go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to stick it right behind here. Right behind this little cap, like this. Let's see if I can get it started. Just like that. And I'm going to peel them all off. And I have a little piece of wood down here that I've got to kind of help me out. I'll try to zoom in on that kind of show you how I'm making that all happen.
you guys. We're gonna take all the backs off of these and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so we got them separated. We, here's our tops here and here's all the bottoms over here. And I just wanted to show you, I got some, uh, like I said, I got some nice ball grid array with no bottoms and these are really really good for recovery these guys here you'll find these in cell phones and they are definitely worth their weight in gold so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these guys here and weigh them up and see exactly what we have okay guys so we got 7.3 ounces of bottoms now what i want to do is i noticed in my last one I was uh, doing what the old timers did and I was skimming all the silver and stuff, all the crap metals off the top and what, what I noticed is there's some junk metal stuck to the bottom of these caps. So now what we're going to do is we're going to soak them in some hydrochloric acid to get eat up any of these base metals so that when we do our next step there's uh, less stuff in the way. So let's, let's ready, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I filled this up with the hydrochloric acid just to cover the chips and then what I've done after I covered the chips is I put just a little bit, just a tiny bit of sulfuric acid in and some uh, peroxide. That's an oxidizer to help speed things up. Now what you can kind of see how the water is starting to get green. That's not the pan doing that. That's actually the water's getting green because... Uh, the tin and you know, silver, lead, any copper is all going into solution so that when I go to process this, I have just pure gold in there. So I just got to let wait this out. Uh, some people would add this to heat to speed it up. Uh, I'm in no rush. So uh, we're just going to let this do its thing and I can get busy with something else. So we'll let this uh, do its deal and we'll be back. Okay guys, they are all done. We've got the bottoms. I don't know if you remember all the little little pieces on the bottom. They're all gone now. You see that there was all the little lead silver beads on the bottom of these. All gone. Now we're left with a nice clean chip. Um, some of them here uh, still had a little bit of junk, like uh, just like that um, fiberglass stuck to it. So I'd say at least 80% of the junk is gone. Like on every ball array, ball array chip, there's no more junk on there. All the crap metal has been gone. But what I wanted to show you guys is go through the backs of your chips before you process them and look at the center. If this, You want to make sure the center is a silicon die. All right. If you see the center is looking like a piece of copper... Get you some sandpaper and run it and run it over it because you'll see that the, it's a copper heat sink, and these will mess up your melt, and you don't want these guys contaminate your melt. These get processed in a different fashion. So this guy was looking like a regular BGA, but we didn't know that it had a copper heat sink or a copper flash plate on the bottom. So. Uh, I just went through all these. These are all all the good ones. But they're all clean. Like I said, all the all the like tin and copper and stuff that was on the bottom are all gone. So now we're just ready to, to process these bad boys and see what we can do as far as the recovery. I'm gonna weigh these up and see how much it weighs now after them soaking. Okay, guys, so after cleaning off all the base metals from the back, we actually lost an ounce, which is good. We lost an ounce of just base metals that were no good. So here's our clean stuff. Time to go crunch it up. Okay, guys, here's my setup for doing this stuff. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these guys. Here's their website right there. Tell them Bull Prospecting sent you. Um, from YouTube, uh, I got this, uh, grinder at Harbor Freight. I got the big heavy duty one, 
Uh, the problem I'm having here is this isn't sitting perfectly square on the shaft. So I'm going to have to come up with a whole new framework and everything so I can make sure that this is spinning uh, perfectly straight. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take our chips here and we're going to go ahead and crunch these bad boys up in the Cobra Crusher. And then we're going to go ahead and get ready to start melting. So I'm going to crush this up and uh, get ready to do the next step. All right, let's do it to it. Now what I've done is I've taken Jet Dry and I've got all my materials super wet first. All right, you can use this stuff, the cheap stuff. And then what I'm doing is I'm just letting the water just run on the edge. And all the, the stuff is going to come off. And then we'll have nice clean stuff to just go ahead and melt right down. So we're going to let this run for a while. You can already see the water starting to clear up. We'll check back on this in uh, probably 10 minutes. Try to pull some of that down. Look at that, huh? Not bad. Hopefully that looks like that when I melt it down. Yeah, but underneath there, it's all micro fine gold. Okay, now it's time to consolidate it and see if we can melt it. Okay, guys, it's now in the crucible. Let's see what we can get. Well, look guys there it is two grams I'm actually really surprised man because uh, how I had to do it I thought I was gonna lose a lot but I, you can still see it got some some slag on there so it's probably just a touch under two but that's still really good that's really good now I'm gonna take that chunk from the pyrite and uh, mix them together 
All right, guys, I had two grams from the BGAs, and I added that uh, 0.3 from the last one to give me an overall 2.3. Look at that bad boy, huh? Not too shabby. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and like I said, we're going to be opening up a mine, so stay tuned.